This is Penn Woods uh, interviewing along with Raymond Fields for the Oklahoma Living Legends uh, Library. We're visiting with a farmer Oklahoman who is uh, well known both throughout the nation and throughout the world, Mrs. Pearl Mesta. Uh, Ms. Mesta is in Oklahoma City on uh, January the 31st, 1970, uh, among other things, to attend the annual winter ball in Oklahoma City. Uh, Ms. Mesta, I wonder to begin with if you could tell us a little bit about uh, your uh, early days in Oklahoma City, how it was then as compared with now. Well, it, it was very different then than it is now. Naturally, like all over the country, it's very different than it is today. It was very interesting, though, because it was a little country town, and I used to ride horseback all over the city. I was a great horseback rider and had a couple of horses. So that's the thing that I remember mostly about Oklahoma. Uh, you you see today uh, g quite a bit of change that's going on. Ha have you been downtown and and could could you uh, discuss the change that's going on today with the building in the early days? Well, I think the change that's going on today is going to be marvelous. It's going to take some time. I imagine it'll take about five or ten years, but I think it's going to make a beautiful, wonderful city when they're finished with it. Uh, Ms. Master, you were, uh, uh, you've been in Washington a long time, and you are uh, well known for uh, uh, both as an entertainer, also for the uh, uh, for some of the people whom you have uh, whom you have ha had at the parties that you have had over the years. I wonder if you would uh, tell us a little, for one thing, a little bit about uh, uh, this experience in light of the uh, uh, in, in light of the uh, years that you have been in? I don't know exactly what you want, but I'll tell you this. I knew Will Rogers very well, and then I knew Mrs. Kerr and the Kerrs very well. Uh, I've known some of the governors off and on, but uh, these people I knew in Washington. See, I've uh, been here for, I married a Pittsburgher and went to Pittsburgh to live. So I was affiliated with uh, Pennsylvania for a long time. And then I've lived in Europe a lot. So it's hard to look back and remember all the different people I've met in Oklahoma. What, uh, what could you say about Will Rogers from your personal experience? Well, my personal experience, he's a wonderful person, absolutely, as everyone knows. He reminds me a little bit of Bob Hope. They remind me of each other. Bob, I was at Bob Hope's dinner the other night, and Bob's always doing something uh, interesting and something constructive, and I think uh, Rogers was the same way. I think he was very human and always doing something kind for, for the world. You mentioned the Kerrs, and I know that you've known the Kerrs for quite a number of years. Uh, could, would you have any comments you might make on them? Well, he was a very powerful senator, as we all know. He was very strong for Johnson. He, a very intelligent man and a wonderful maneuverer. Who would you say uh, of the Oklahomans you have known, uh, let's say with the exception of Kerr and Rogers, uh, have been the uh, most memorable to you as personalities? That's difficult to say. Uh, I can't tell you. Of course, you come up to date now, and I know you're new Bowman, you're Senator Bowman. I think you've got a very good senator there, a marvelous senator. And uh, it's hard for me to, to tell you just who I think was the most important. Is that it? Yes. Is that what you want? Uh, as a personality. As a personality? As a personality. Oh, I don't know, as a personality. I'd have to stop and think and reminisce, and I can't do it right now. You were in Luxembourg for uh, a period of time. Could you uh, tell us a little bit about your experience there? Well, all I can tell you, I was appointed by Truman and stayed four years and then kept on by Eisenhower for one year. I was there five years in Luxembourg, and I did not want to go because I was having a very interesting time in Washington, but I wouldn't take anything for the experience. Then after that I went to Russia, 
and I was invited to go into Russia, and I was there for three months and traveled 12,000 miles. That was another very fascinating experience. Do you have any thoughts, Amy? You you brought in about a month or two to Yes. Well, uh, I I'd like to. I, all right. Uh, one is I, I would like to get your comments. You you've been involved in the social life in Washington. Your comments on how you feel that the so that uh, the social life and the political life may intermingle. In other words, do you feel that there is a uh, something to be gained through the social life? Uh, Altogether, the social life coincides right with the political life. The political life, uh, you have your social life twined around the political life. You have your social life, you have your, you have your cabinet members. If you're interested in social life, that's what you should do. You, you help put through bills always in, in Washington. Well, that's all right. Uh, all right. Uh, well, you, uh, you, you've been back in Oklahoma a number of times. Would you comment on uh, the social life in Oklahoma and Oklahoma City? Well, I've been back here. Uh, uh, yes, I have been. I think it's very interesting. You friend, meet your old friends. I think it's... Well, I don't know. Uh, the social life here is just about like it is every place else, I would say. Social life is social life every place. Do you have any other thoughts, Raymond? Well, if you're tired, huh? Well, that's fine. 